Hey, how's it going everyone? It's Luis Bryan here. As we all know, a lot of people are still working from home, going to school virtually, and um, it's been a struggle. I mean, this beer flu hasn't fully gone away yet. But in the meantime, I've been trying to research and find out ways how I can make my time here at home more productive, more comfortable, and you know, just get a lot of things done, multitask, all of that fun stuff. And in this video, I will talk about the top keyboards that you could buy if you're working from home or if you're a student like me. Now I'm not gonna give you a top 10 list and let you go down that rabbit hole of figuring out which one's best. I'm actually gonna talk about the top two keyboards that I found to be more useful with its features, reliability, and ergonomics. So uh, let's just get to it. So the two keyboards I have right here, first one, Logitech MX Keys, and second one, Keychron K4. Now let's talk about what makes these special and makes them one of the best keyboards that you can find right now under $100. Let me talk to you about the similarities between these two keyboards. To start off, they're both going to be full-sized keyboards, meaning you'll have your regular keys, FN or operating system keys, and your dedicated number pad on the right side of the keyboard. Besides that, you'll be able to connect these keyboards to three devices. Doesn't matter if it's Mac OS, Windows, iOS, or Android, you can mix and match up to three devices. Next up is that both of these keyboards are LED backlit, so if you're typing at night, you'll have no problem in finding the keys. Um, there are also other options out there to getting RGB lighting like the one I have here, but both of them have white LEDs inside of them. And last but not least, these keyboards are going to last you up to 10 days of battery life. Now once you're using that LED backlight, the battery is obviously going to decrease and the more you type, the less the battery lasts. But they do say they last you up to 10 days of battery life and so far that's pretty true and I've never had any issues with these keyboards but if they do happen to run out of charge you can easily plug it in with the USB cable directly to the computer and both of these provide a USB-C out of the box. So now that I shared the similarities let me talk to you about the key differences between these two keyboards and the first one that you could probably see already from the shot are the dimensions between these two keyboards. Now the MX keys is going to be longer, thinner, while the K4 is going to be smaller in size and a little bit taller because it is a mechanical keyboard. Now that's one of the main differences. This one right here, you're not going to have that much travel on the keys. While on the K4, you really get that depth and that agile and tactile feel of the keyboard and you get that added clicky sound to it. But um, yeah, the dimension, you know, this is going to be a little bit heavier at 1.77 pounds while the K4 is 1.69 pounds. Not that much difference of weight. They're both gonna have a pretty similar battery. But um, yeah, you can see right here, the difference in dimensions. Personally, I enjoy having a shorter keyboard because that gives me more space to have the mouse on the right side. Now on the MX keys, you see this whole empty space right here. Not really much going on. They do spread it around because of the arrows. But the thing I like about the K4 is that they get rid of that empty space and just try to fit all of those keys wherever they fit. It does take a little bit of time to figure out where all the keys are remapped, um, but most of them are gonna be found right here, while this one adds some space just to have them properly set up. But um, I don't really use these keys, so I don't mind having these remapped somewhere else, if that means I'm gonna have a shorter keyboard. So now that I mentioned that the K4 is gonna be a mechanical keyboard, while the MX keys are not, let me show you how they sound. Let me get started with the MX keys. They sound very dull. Just because the MX keys are not mechanical doesn't mean they're not gonna be comfortable over time. They just have a different feel to them. I really do like what Logitech did here for the MX keys by having a circle and then on each key that makes it very comfortable when your finger lands on the keys. It's a good typing experience over time and once you're typing for hours getting that essay done, you're not gonna have any issues with this and um, it's gonna be pretty thin. So you might not really need a palm rest which I had to do for the K4 because it is taller and it's hard to reach those keys. You know, if you don't want that loud, annoying sound, then this is gonna be the right keyboard for you. Now the K4. Now I'm not typing anything. I'm just trying to test out, you know, so you guys could hear the sound and the MX. Now keep in mind, if you are gonna be in Zoom meetings and are gonna be using the keyboard at the same time, you're most likely to hear this over the Zoom call. And the MX keys are gonna be a little bit more quiet. 
I kind of like the thinner design on the MX keys, but then again, I do like how the blue Gatoron switches, which are actually swappable with this keyboard. I really like how the key forward feels. You get that tactile response once you're about to click on the key, where it kind of forces you to click deeper into that key. Welcome to keyboard ASMR. So here's another difference. I did talk about how some of the keys are remapped and another thing that you have to do differently between these two keyboards in order to connect to up to three devices is the way that you actually connect to them. Now the great thing about the MX keys is that you'll have the dedicated keys right here to switch to different devices and um, I really find this useful because it just takes you one second to connect to another one and it's only one button. While in this one right here, the K4, you're not gonna have any button that says one, two, or three. What you'll have to do to connect to each device, you have to hold the FN key and either one, two, or three to connect to those devices. But there's another step to connect to your wireless devices. Now, right here on the switch, there's either connected with the wire, off, which is in the middle, and on the left side is Bluetooth. And you have to have this set on Bluetooth in order to connect to your wireless devices. Then you could press FN1 or 2 or 3. Another big difference and one of the main reasons on why I like the MX keys a little bit more is because you could download a software on your computer in order to remap these buttons here on top and you could actually save and back up your profile that you have set on your keyboard and then you could pass it over to your new computer it doesn't matter if it's a different operating system, it will adapt to how you have it on your profile. And I really love having a software because I like remapping these top buttons. For example, I make this copy and paste so you don't have to press two keys at the same time. You just press one to copy and paste. This makes it really easy for multitasking. But wait, there's an even better feature that comes with the MX keys called Flow Cross Computer Control. What that basically means is that you can have two computers right next to each other with the software installed and you can copy paste from one computer and paste it onto the second computer. So there's no need for a KVM switch if you used that before. All of that is done through your Logitech account and the MX keys. And that's pretty mind blowing. Think of all the work and the multitasking that could be done with this keyboard and the software alone. That's pretty awesome. Now that's not the case with the K4. You can install software updates on this keyboard, but it is pretty difficult. You have to download all these different files and there's no dedicated software for this keyboard. And also, if you're trying to remap some of these keys right here, it is gonna be a little bit more work. You're gonna have to download a third party software in order to do that. I might do a video on that. So if you're interested in finding out how to remap these buttons, let me know in the comment section below and give this video a like. Okay, so you might be the person that doesn't really like downloading extra stuff on your computer or you don't really care about downloading a software for the keyboard itself. Um, you might be more into the look of it, you know, it's kind of unique. Say you want to get the model that has the RGB lighting because that really makes the keyboard stand out on your desk and makes it look really nice. And like I said, you could get the white LED option, but since I do have the RGB lighting one, might as well just show off the colors and the lights. Let's get to it. So there's a lot of RGB light modes on this keyboard and you can change it by clicking on this light bulb key right here in the corner. And if you want to increase or decrease the intensity, you just click on these two keys. But yeah, look at this, that looks so cool. But you know, that's just an extra feature, an extra model, and um, you really don't need that in order you know, to actually get work done, but it's pretty fun in my opinion. Okay, so now that I pretty much covered all of the features between these two keyboards, um, let's talk about how reliable they are. And I gotta say, they're super reliable. You'll have no issues connecting to your computer. To start off, the K4 has the newest Bluetooth technology, Bluetooth 5.1. Now there's a lot of good benefits of having Bluetooth 5.1. First, it's not gonna interfere that much with all of your other devices that you may have around that are Bluetooth compatible. And you could be up to 10 feet away from your computer. And it's actually cool for me because my computer is actually under the desk. So it has to send signal through or around the desk. And I actually have no issues with latency with that. So while the K4 has the newest Bluetooth technology, the MX is still super reliable because it comes with its own USB receiver. Now it's not gonna be USB-C, it's still full-sized USB-A. So the nice thing about having this USB receiver is that it has its own secure 2.4 gigahertz connection with the keyboard 
and even the MX mouse and you could even pair it with different keyboards and mouses. That way you don't have to have more than one receiver. You could just use one for all of those devices. Whether you have the newest Bluetooth technology or your dedicated USB receiver, you'll have no issues with latency or connection range. Okay, so we talked about the features. We talked about how reliable and comfortable they both are to type in. And now I'm gonna help you decide if I haven't already helped you enough. <laughs> um, I'm gonna help you decide on which one you should get. So let's start off with the MX keys. If you want to back up all of your settings from your keyboard, you could do that with its own dedicated software. And you can take advantage of that feature of copying and pasting on two separate computers. Ultimately, this is gonna be the one you'll go with. I mean, it's sleek, good looking design, comfortable, thin, reliable with the USB receiver. You're gonna have its own dedicated software, so you wanna easily remap all of the keys you'll be able to do that with this keyboard right here. Now, if you like that old mechanical keyboard style look and typing experience, then the K4 is definitely for you. Another great feature is that you could hot swap these keys out for new ones. And there's different models out there if you wanna have RGB lighting instead of just standard white LED lighting. And that's really gonna make your keyboard stand out out of the crowd. And it just looks fun in general. So if you like all that, then the K4 is for you. So there you have it, that's been the MX Keys, the K4. Let me know in the comment section below, what do you think of these keyboards? Have you tried them? Do you think they're one of the best? Let me know. And if you're not already subscribed, be part of the team as that will make my day. And watch out for future tech videos. But until next time, peace out.